Okay, this is the first video in my build log uh, for my RepRap Mendel Prusa project, 3D printer project. So I'm building a 3D printer and it's a uh, RepRap uh, Mendel Prusa. The Prusa is kind of the latest design from the RepRap project. And if you're not familiar with it, the RepRap project is a project uh, that started in uh, at Bath University in England and the idea is to build um, machines for home fabrication that, that can allow you to make your own uh, products at home so instead of going to Walmart and buying something at Walmart or some other store you'd be able to just print them out or manufacture them easily at home and the first uh, first machine that they have in their their project is the 3D printer. Uh, this is really the third major uh, design in the, the RepRap uh, 3D printer project. The first one was Darwin uh, and the second one was Mendel and then this one's Mendel uh, Prusa. Uh, the Prusa design is a simplified design uses less parts than the Mendel. It's easier, easier to put together and basically just a simplified uh, design. So these are the what they call the RP parts or the rapid prototype 3D printed parts. Um, originally when I started the project I had ordered a kit, a complete kit from a company called Botmill out of Florida. Uh, they, that company, uh, you know, subsequent research turned up a lot of negative feedback about that company and the Rep rap community. A lot of people were getting incomplete kits. Uh, they were waiting months for kits when they were promised kits, you know, in two weeks and things like that. And they were getting, in some cases, uh, poor quality parts as well. And, and they just weren't getting what they were promised. So with that information, and I gave them a couple of weeks to, to ship, ship me the kit, and they hadn't shipped me anything. So I went ahead and canceled that order and decided to self-source uh, the parts myself instead. And instead of ordering each individual nut and bolt, uh, what I decided to do was kind of order uh, a group of small kits. So this is the the plastic parts kit that I ordered from a, a fellow in uh, Manchester, England. It goes by the uh, Nophead on the RepRap forums and his real name is Chris Palmer and he's been involved uh, in rep wrapping and building 3D printers since 2007. He's got a great blog it's um, hydroraptor.blogspot.com I've read through the, the whole blog from 2007 to, to, to up to date. It's a great blog if you want to learn about the rep wrap project the printers themselves and a lot of the research he's done and just generally want to learn about him his blogs are a great place to to learn about you know building and using a a, a Mendel or any 3D printer really um, that uses the fused uh, filament fabrication process which is what the Mendel and the Darwin and the Cupcake CNC all use that same process uh, so he Basically, he printed these parts on another Mendel. So, one of the ideas behind the RepRap project is that the machines can be, at least in part, self-replicating. Uh, that is to say, they can make parts for another another copy of themselves. So, he made a uh, a Mendel and printed out these parts for my Mendel. And so, I, bu I bought them through his website. Uh, he has eBay auctions that he runs pretty regularly where you can buy uh, parts. Also other rep wrappers on the forums uh, offer the same service. So you can you know find another rep wrapper online and order your uh, RP parts from them. So that's what I did. I ordered the parts through, uh, through Chris and he, he did a fantastic job. I mean he's been doing this you know just about as long as anybody as far as the RepRap project goes and uh, he's put a lot of research into how to get good results and it really shows in the finished product. Uh, one of the things about the RepRap 3D printer 
is at least at this point it's non-trivial to get results like this. It's becoming easier for new people because a lot of the information's out there online. You just have to go out and find it and kind of put it all together and you know use that information to figure out how to do it and get results like this. Um, whereas when Chris started, they were really just figuring a lot of this out. But you can see the quality of the print is on par with what you'd see with a lot of commercial machines. It's really very good. Um, I mean, these parts, as far as I'm concerned, they look fantastic. And I hope I can get half as good a results out of my printer uh, that, that Chris is getting out of his. And these look fantastic. So, very happy with those. Uh, ordered a electronics kit from Ulta Machine. So that's the, it's an Arduino based kit that uses um, some Pololu, Pololu stepper drivers. And so the, the Arduino's in here, an interface board and the stepper drivers are in here. And then it also came with uh, these NEMA 17, I believe they're NEMA 17, uh, stepper motors. Uh, and there's, there's five of them. And then I ordered a hardware kit from thingfarm.org. So that's got all your, your threaded rod cut to length and your ground rod uh, cut to length. And then all your nuts and bolts and washers and bearings and timing belt and pretty much everything you need. So ordering it this way, um, you know, you can see it's pretty straightforward as far as what you get and it's all good quality. And, uh, you know, there's a number of vendors out there you can choose from as far as who you want to get your electronics from or who you want to get your RP parts from or steppers or what have you. Uh, but uh, I saved money over buying the complete kit. I uh, probably didn't save as much money as I could have if I'd ordered each individual washer myself. But I felt this was a good compromise uh, as far as, you know, getting uh, all the parts I need relatively straightforward you know, without uh, spending too much money. It's also a power supply that's going to be the power supply for the system. Uh, got a heated bed. This is a PCB printed circuit board heated bed. It uses the resistance of uh, printed circuit board traces, copper traces, to perform the role of a heated bed. So you know, if you solder in your your power supply down here, power supply leads and some LEDs so you can tell when it's on. This will get sandwiched between a thin sheet of aluminum and probably wood on the bottom for an insulator and that'll be a heated build platform. That gives you some idea of the build size. It's about 8 by 8 inches with about I believe 5 to 6 inches on the Z height. Uh, so that's that's the basic build build platform size. There's still some uh, parts that haven't shown up yet. Uh, I ordered some parts from MendelParts.com and uh, those parts um, are the extruder hot end and some of the extruder parts like the thermistor and things like that. So those will probably be here like any day now but I've got plenty plenty of stuff to keep me busy for now. So um, there's a guy on another one of the RepRap community members, Gary Hodgson and some other folks work together to put together step-by-step uh, -step visual instructions, build instructions using SketchUp uh, for making really nice CAD illustrations. And so basically just follow along with this document and uh, be on your way to having your, your Mendel put together. So I'm kind of at a point where I'm probably going to have to stop for now. Uh, the reason being is uh, at least for tonight. I've got a, a ruler. This is the only ruler I have that will measure metric in the house. <laughs> so all of the entire kit the design is, is metric basically being uh, originating from Europe. So uh, this isn't going to cut it for measuring. So I'm going to have to get a, a metric ruler at the very least, if not a tape measure. Um, so I'm probably going to just leave it at that for tonight. But uh, Tomorrow I'll pick up a uh, metric measuring device and uh, get started putting it together. So that's it for now, and uh, thanks for watching.